Okay, so now that you have your lantern pieces put together, they should look like this. So this person did it correctly. Okay, and how you can tell that is you no longer see this skinny seam that was here. It was glued on top of, okay? So I can lay his lantern flat this way and it should fold up really nicely. And honestly, you might wanna do this before you start. Why? Because I, like I explained in the last video, when your lanterns are put together, the folds are gonna be really crucial to it popping into the correct shape. So if it doesn't have the folds that are crisp and in the right place, it's not gonna pop up the way that it should. So I'm gonna kind of start and I'm gonna turn it all the directions. And I'm just gonna make sure that those folds are really good. And another thing that this will do is it will tell you if you glued well enough because if it comes apart right now, you know you didn't glue well enough, okay? So now I know my folds are really good. You can see it pops up really nicely. I'm gonna do that to my next piece. So you can see he actually did not get a very good crisp fold right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back and do that again, okay? And I'm gonna, so I'm gonna do that both ways and then I'm also gonna do it this way. Okay, just getting those nice folds. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and do that to my third piece because I'm going to demonstrate gluing a few pieces for you. So you can see already how some of his folds got a little off. That's okay, we're kind of correcting that right now. You can kind of see his gluing got a little off too and that's okay. It's not that bad. Um, you're gonna tell right now if you made a mistake. Because if it doesn't fold all of these directions, you did something wrong. Now, if you're one of those people right now, see it came apart just a little bit there. If you're one of those people right now who's thinking, I don't need to do that, I did fine. I would recommend doing it, okay? It's better to make sure that you put this together correctly than not doing it and not having your lantern turn out the way it needs to be, okay? All right, so you should have six pieces, um, and when you put them together, you need to make sure they're facing the same direction. So if you'll notice, I'm gonna show you on one piece. If you'll notice, now we're focusing on the top, okay? You'll notice that there's a dotted line on one side and there's not on the other. The dotted line section is how we're gonna glue it together, okay? So your pieces are essentially need to face the same way, all right? So the dotted line should be on both sides. You can go ahead and flatten it if you want, and I'm gonna go ahead and grab a glue bottle again. Once again, glue stick will not work. Just telling you right now. And I'm covering it completely, but I'm also making sure not to glop on as much glue as possible. And once I'm done, you're going to take that piece, I've glued it on both sides, you're gonna take a, the second piece and you're gonna put it inside of it, all right? So let me show you what that looks like. So I have this piece, I'm gonna put it inside so that it covers the lines and it meets it. So once again, I have this, I glued it on both sides, they're facing the same direction, and I'm sliding this inside of the next one, and then I can lay it flat, and I can push on it, and make sure that, that, that it lines up. You wanna make sure that it lines up on both sides. So keep checking, you're gonna get going on your table. It's just gonna happen. So keep checking and make sure that you line it up really well, okay? And then just keep, pressing and making sure that it's glued really well. Okay, now, once again, you could be really lazy here and be like, oh, I glued it, it's fine, it's stuck. There's nothing worse than getting halfway through making your lantern and it comes apart, okay? Because then you ask me to fix it and I don't have time to help 25 people fix their lanterns. All right, once you're done, you wanna make sure that you didn't get any glue on the inside. And then you're gonna pop it back up, so now he has two pieces of his lantern put together, okay? So now I'm gonna repeat the same process. I'm gonna put glue on this, on this. I'm gonna grab my next piece. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it inside. Oh wait, do you see how it's not facing the same direction? Face it the same direction. I'm gonna put it inside and I'm gonna lay it flat again. Okay, and then I'm gonna really hold it down and push. Okay. Okay, it's okay for it to go flat right now. That's okay. I mean, if you fold it correctly and you glue it correctly, 
you should be able to pop it back up in no time, all right? So once again, go back and make sure, put your hand in and make sure that it's not stuck down anywhere on the inside. And now he's halfway done with his lantern, okay? So if you need to, if you do that and it comes up, you can always add a little bit more glue, but you'll see half of his lantern is done, all right? Now, when you are doing this, here's a couple problems that I notice that people run into, all right? They will make three, and then they'll make three separate ones, and then they'll try to put three and three together. Do not do that. It will not work well. I'm just gonna warn you right now, okay? You need to keep adding to the existing lantern. So he needs to add his next one here, and then his next one here, and his next one here. You're gonna get to the end, and it's gonna seem like there's no way you can fit that sixth one in, and I promise you can, okay? Now, when you get to the end and you're ready and you have your sixth one glued on, you're gonna ask me for help um, because we are not going to glue it completely closed. What I will do um, is I will hole punch the last two together and tie it with a string. Um, and that way, there, that, that's for two reasons. One, so we can hang it from the ceiling. And two, if you ever have it go flat, if you were to completely glue it closed, there would be no way to puff it back up. If I tie it shut with the last two, if I tie it shut, then we can always untie it. You can puff it back up and we can retie it again. So that's just kind of a way to help you keep your lantern lasting longer, all right? So here's the first three. Once again, he's then going to glue the next one on here, then the next one on there, then the next one on there. And then instead of tying or gluing the last two together, the last together, you're gonna ask me for help and I will tie it, all right? So that is how you're gonna finish your paper lantern. When you're completely done, um, I need to photograph it and then we're gonna hang it in the classroom.